Hi guys. I am so sorry if I feel or look a little bit annoyed, but I just filmed everything on my big camera and none of it worked. So I'm kind of annoyed that I have to redo this, but whatever. We're just going to get it done because I'd rather get it done than give up. So we're going to start off with my hospital bag. So this is the Fawn Design, the Weekender, I believe. Um, it's huge. It has like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven pockets and then like an extra zipper and another pocket in there. It has side pockets. It does come with like the big um, strap. I'm not putting the strap on right now though. Um, it has a front pocket and another pocket in here. Um, oh shoot, I forgot to take this off. go but yeah this is the fun design the weekender I can throw that out um yeah it has a back pocket so if you're traveling you can put this through like your suitcase which is awesome um exactly why I actually bought it from well, the reason for um but yeah you can close it here and carry it um the reason I bought it was to be able to travel more with it and of course I just thought it would be perfect for my diaper bag so I'm gonna put it down here um, and then I'm gonna show you guys what I packed for my hospital bag not my diaper bag my bad so I'm gonna start off with the most essential obviously being a nursing bra for sure you're gonna want to wear this right away um, well, it's up to you actually if you want to wear it right away. I know some people don't. I don't like the feeling of being exposed. Um, so I like having the support, <laughs> if that makes sense. Um, but yeah, I, I, I love wearing mine right away, which is why I'm bringing it. Then I'm bringing some cotton undies. I got these at TJ Maxx. These are really stretchy and they're nice and big in the back and the bottom for pads. I personally don't bleed a lot after labor. So, um, I don't worry, you know, like I usually put just a pad and then I take this like underwear and then I go home and that's it. Um, I am though, however, bringing my own disposable underwear this time. I'm only bringing one. I know that the hospital gives you some, but they're like see-through and you still have to put the pad on it. These are already like built in. So you just put this on and they're nice and stretchy. They're nice and big. So, you know, you can actually like pull it up. And yeah, that's why I'm bringing mine this time, just in case I decide to leave in either of these two. Okay, my next one is fuzzy socks with grips. These have been great for me in the past. I love it. I get so cold though when I'm in the hospital, so that's why I love having these because then when I get up to go to the bathroom, the grip helps support and I don't like slip or anything. But yeah, these came in like a pack of three from Amazon. I just got I grabbed the most simple as black and that's that um, I'm also bringing a belly band personally I like the feeling of support on my belly after giving birth because it's so jello and loose and I feel like it hurts more that everything's kind of sticking out that this gives me that support just to hold it this is not like this is not to say like oh it's just to make you skinny again because it, it doesn't work that way it's just the feeling of support of having all those muscles and you know your your organs pretty much be held together. I prefer that feeling, so that's why I'm bringing this. But you obviously don't have to. Put that there for now. Um, another easy easy peasy, going home outfit, leggings, and a t-shirt. That's it. You honestly don't need much. Um, Especially when we live like right next to the hospital, I don't need anything fancy. Leggings is just what I'm, I usually live in after I give birth and a, a, you know, a nice loose t-shirt so you can just lift it and breastfeed and that's it. Um, another thing that I'm bringing are PJs, just in case. I don't know how long I'll be there, but I got these at TJ Maxx. These are so cute. They come with like the shorts. And then the best part about the top is that it's open, button up. So, you know, easy breastfeeding. Um, and they're nice and soft. 
which makes it so nice for you and the baby, especially if you don't want to be in their, you know, their rope the entire time. I don't like to be in the rope the whole time, so another option I brought in case, depending on how I feel, was this nursing cami, which I had with my daughter. It's the same one I got. I had this, I got this from like ASOS, and it does like open up. So, you know, you can breastfeed. I lived in this for like the entire two weeks after I gave birth to her. And it was just like the best thing because it's so soft, so easy to go to the bathroom with. And so nice to just be able to like take this off without having to, you know, lift up everything. So I brought that just in case I really wanted to wear it at the hospital. I'm not sure yet, but we'll see. Slippers. I... Last time brought some outdoor slippers, which are great because you could just put them on and go. But this time I'm just bringing regular slippers because you can walk around the, the room with this. You can walk around the hospital if you need to like, you know, give yourself a little time to walk or while you're laboring. Um, or you can leave to go home in these. And these are just super easy and fuzzy. And I think I got these at like maybe Amazon or something. So throw that in there. Hairbrush and hair ties. I'm bringing two scrunchies this time just in case, but um, my hair is definitely a lot shorter this time, so I might not use them. I don't know. My hair was longer last time, and I ended up doing braids, but your hair gets so tangled up, especially if you're laboring on bed and laying down, your hair becomes a mess. I got to move around during my last labor, and I really want to move around this time, so I'm bringing it just in case, but... A hairbrush you will need a hairbrush I promise you yeah I'm not gonna do it but <laughs> a nerf gun um, I found this one for like three dollars at Walmart and someone actually gave me the idea of this they said bring a nerf gun in case your husband falls asleep and you're trying to wake him up and I was like that's genius I'll have the baby on me I'll probably be on bed rest if he falls asleep shoot him and it's not nice and soft, so it's technically harmless, you know? My iPad. Um, this is the, the big iPad, which I personally love, but I usually have movies and stuff downloaded into this, so um, if you do like an epidural, you have a lot of time to kill, you can watch something, or post-birth, you can hang out. Their TVs suck at, at, the, at the hospitals. They don't have anything new. I didn't want to have to bring like a whole like Apple TV, how some people do, or a Roku stick, or an Amazon stick, or anything, because I didn't want to mess with any of their stuff, so I figured I'd just bring this and just watch my own stuff, relax, or you know, something to watch during the night while you're nursing, whatever it may be. Nice entertainment, right? Um, a mirror. This is in case you want to get ready. Um, but yeah, mine lights up and it stands up like this. It's awesome. See? It's great. It comes in handy. I promise you. Okay. Um, down to the last couple of things. I have a blanket. I was so cold with my daughter and my son, okay? The kind of blankets that the hospital give you are like warmed up and they look like a napkin, like they're awful. So I brought a nice big blanket so that I can share it with the baby and I can be nice, warm and comfy and it just fits perfectly in my suitcase, so why not? Another thing, your own water bottle. Um, I'm actually even bringing my own water and ice because their water tastes gross to me. Um, so this is just me. I'm, I'm just going to fill this whole thing up with ice and then put some water in it and stay hydrated. But yeah, I recommend bringing your own unless your hospital gives you your own and you like their water. That's fine. But I'm bringing my own. Um, one thing I am adding in there that I don't have with me right now is not only like, like my iPad charger, I have a 10 foot charger for my phone. And that is just because you don't know where your charger is going to be. It could be five feet to the side and you need it to charge, to talk to family, or you need, you know, for me it's to keep in touch with my kids after I am already in the hospital. 
keep a charger with you at all times. So a 10 foot charger, 100% I'm bringing. I'm just using it right now for my phone so it can actually reach all the way to me. Um, the other thing I have in here are toiletries. Very basic stuff because honestly, I don't like to wash my hair at the hospital at all. So I'm just bringing uh, dry shampoo. Um, I do take showers. So I'm bringing a body wash, toothpaste, and a toothbrush because like I said, you don't know when you're gonna give birth. I am gonna try to get out of the hospital as quick as possible though so I could go see my kids. <laughs> um, makeup remover wipes. You don't know what time you're gonna go in. I could go in like today and I would have to take all this off so I could feel better about myself. So that's why I'm, I'd rather bring it. With my son, I went into labor at nighttime, so I didn't need any of that, thankfully. But, you know, like I said, you never know. Deodorant. I got this little tiny deodorant from Target because I didn't want to bring the whole thing. And I don't like carrying too much stuff. Um, We got chapstick because this is the one thing that every single person recommended. And my lips did get really dry. With my daughter so I'm definitely bringing this one this is the Vaseline creme brulee so good tiny little moisturizer I think I got this as a sampler from something I don't know but my skin gets so dry this is just like perfect to just grab and go um, and a face wash there it is and a face wash because I feel so gross personally I feel so gross post labor you know, you have all those bodily fluids all over you and you're sweaty and you just need to get it over with, right? And the last thing that I got, oh, aside from my camera, I got just a little bit of makeup in case I feel better. One, lashes, 100%, because I feel like lashes will always make you feel so much better about yourself, even if you don't do any makeup at all. Um, SPF with a little bit of tint. This is my favorite, favorite one. And that's it, pretty much. I brought like a brow gel, just in case, and mascara, just in case. That's it. Honestly, whatever makes you feel better. I want to take pictures with my kids the next day, so I want to at least look a little bit alive. And not that, you know, I just birthed a human. Um, next thing, your camera. I love to take the pictures of my kids at the hospital. It's been one of my favorite things to do. I did it with my son, did it with my daughter, and I'm gonna do it with this one. Um, you just get great lighting sometimes, depending on your room. So I really hope I have really good lighting so that I can do some really cute, you know, pictures with the birth announcement and all that. And the last thing that I don't have here that I will recommend you is a phone tripod with a remote. Because I'm just thinking like, if you want pictures like with you and your husband, and there's no nurses around to take one or you know if you want to take just some picture some videos or something put your phone on that tripod click it sit back and be done you know like people get so scared that people are gonna think that they look so weird doing this but at the end of the day it's your pictures you're gonna end up with the memories not them so do you do your own pictures and trust me you want those new pictures of you and the baby even if you feel you look like crap even if you feel you look awful, just do it. Trust me. Um, but yeah, that is pretty much all I have for my hospital bag. Um, if you have any questions or anything, let me know. I will be filming my baby's hospital bag next. Okay? So you guys have a great day. And hopefully I'm giving birth within the next couple days. Fingers crossed. Have a good one.